So over the past decade, we've seen a complete overhaul in the way we treat CLL. And so the days of using chemoimmunotherapy, I think are completely in the past for most of us, even though there is a very small uptick of use in the community. I think most of us academics no, lo no longer use chemoimmunotherapy because we've now seen so many trials showing advantages of our novel agents. And so I think for a while, I was using a lot of continuous BTK inhibitors first abrutinib, but now much more Acala and Xanu because of the improved safety profile. But then I also started using a lot of venetoclax in the frontline setting in combination with obinutuzumab, first based on the CLL-14 trial. And then of course the CLL-13 trial reinforced my strategy um, using this regimen in younger patients who I think are those who may benefit the most because they have the longest to live and they really enjoy that time off therapy. I think the change that we're going to see in the future is shifting maybe some of our patients from a time limited Ven Oban to an oral doublet if we see a registrational approval for a calibrutinib with venetoclax, which may be possible following uh, the press release that showed that Amplify was in fact a positive trial. But we obviously have to dive more into the data, which I hope to see presented at ASH later this year.